All right, Big Michael's back in the nest with our third group of lovely ladies here from the women's hockey team. Um, can each one of you just look into that lovely camera there and tell the viewers who you are tonight? Um, my name's Emma Sommerfeld, number seven. And this is my fourth year here at eight, and I'm from Shelburne, Saskatchewan. My name is Lindsay Brower, and I'm number six, and I'm from Sherwood Park, Alberta. Um, my name is Nicole Gregor, I'm number three. This is my fourth year, and I'm from Lorette, Manitoba. All right, so Emma, you started off your fourth year, uh, going into your fifth year next year. How does it feel? I'm not, I'm not saying you're old, but fifth year, that's, that's a lot of time you play in college hockey. <laughs> so uh, what can we what can we look forward to from you next season? Of course, you had a strong season this year, winning gold. How can how can we top that next season? Um, I'm just gonna try and be better than I was this year. Um, if I keep improving, that I mean, that's all I can ask for. So I'm gonna try to get the gold. Better. So obviously, winning gold this year feels pretty good, ladies. How how can you two describe this whole experience here at Nate this season? <laughs> can we can maybe see the fist pump. <laughs> there we go, exclusive there. No, it was, it was amazing. It was a lot of hard work and dedication, and I think we all chipped in to, uh, to win it this year. So. Definitely a lot of talent on our team to help us pull it off. It's exciting, kind of surreal still a little bit. Yeah. So it was the Red Deer Queens, the team that you guys defeated in the finals. What can you guys tell us maybe about this Red Deer team? How did it all unfold and uh, did you guys play the way that you expected to? I think we really prepared ourselves to play them. We did a lot of video and we actually went and watched them play um, Grab McEwen. So I think we really um, got a gist of what their systems were like and what, what key players they had. and then. Uh, what, what can you guys tell us about uh, your goaltender situation? Of course, Jill Dyers have brilliant all season long. Emma Cooley, a uh, very competent backup as well. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts on these two ladies as far as representing you guys in between the crease? Uh, I think we have um, pretty good goaltending. I know next year we have uh, Jill Dyers, who's a really good goaltender. She's pretty good, so I know we have uh, solid goaltender. I think it's good, they're kind of all on the same level, so they push each other to compete and be better and whoever's best to start in, so... So, of course, I'm sure there's been some some uh, memories created throughout this whole experience. Of course, I'm sure a bus ride to say a lot can happen from here to say Any special stories you guys can maybe share with us that are appropriate for Nate Athletics? <laughs> Honestly, I don't have any appropriate <laughs> Maybe we, just, we always sit by each other on the bus and we always just have some kind of good laugh on the way down. I don't know, just random. I can't name a specific thing, actually, but it's usually how I wake up with my nap. Yeah. Like, it's too laughing. Maybe any specific maybe jokes or pranks that were played on any of the other team members? Uh, I think the big prankster or the one who calls herself a big prankster, pranks would be die joke, but yeah, yeah, I wouldn't see that she's that one. That one. <laughs> All right, we'll keep it at that, just, just in case we go over that R rating. We don't want to cross that here tonight. This is, of course, a PG program. Um, but moving on, uh, of course, I'm sure you guys all have families, I would assume, right? Everybody has a family. But how important was your guys' family uh, individually throughout this whole process? Of course, uh, coming to the game, supporting you guys, I guess, not only this year, but I guess throughout your whole careers, driving you to practice, stuff like that. How important is your guys' family? Yeah, it's definitely huge, you know. You, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for them helping you and paying for all that hockey. It's, it's definitely not cheap and driving you around and everything. And being from Manitoba, they came out to almost every every weekend just took the train out here to watch. And having that crowd behind you and knowing you have that support definitely definitely helps a lot during the long school year and long season for sure. Alright guys, this has been an interesting few minutes. Uh, just one last thing. Can I get you guys to look into that camera? And as if you're talking to all the teams you're going to be playing next season, what do the Native players, what message do you guys have for all those rivals out there? Get her done. Yeah. <laughs> Crush them. <laughs> Perfect, guys. Thanks a lot. Uh, Vic Michaels, Group 4, coming up quick.